This is the 42123 McLaren Senna GTR. It has a knob for the steering. Oh yeah, the original the set does not come with an opening hood. But with some replacing some pieces, I have made it open because I decided why not. There's the rack and pinion for the, for the knob steering. Without the hood, there's not part of a set that opens. Oh, there are mirrors in the way. The only cool thing about this is that the doors open. The cylindrical doors is what they're is what they're called. So with my adjustments, though, like powered by ethanol, the hood also opens. The steering wheel is not functional because, like, I decided to be too much work. Now there's a Lego person watching this video and it's like, and can, who works at Lego and can prove me wrong and tell me why they did it, then leave it in the comments. But, yeah, there's also a V8 in there, a fake V8, oop, wrong wheel. And also, if there's a person who works at Lego who tells, who can tell me why I made one wheel, Thing. I was planning on doing a how to like a building thing of this. Okay, let me take this one off too. Then you can see fig V8. I think that was a nice detail for like good to add on to this set. But I also honestly think that they could have done a few things better. Also, this rear spoiler is really flopsy, filmsy. Oddly enough, in Racing Bricks review video of this, he said it was flimsy when you picked it up. There's like no give. Another thing is, why didn't Lego add suspension to this set? Well, now that I know why, if we pull this panel out, see if this panel was on, Why do I do this? Aha, there we go. If you look, there's not actually there's not actually a lot of space between the wheel well and the actual tire. So that's why Lego couldn't add suspension to this. Because they'd have to basically raise the model from this much. So where this top of this is, that's where the f bottom of it would be. So basically, Lego would raise it. Would have to raise it, and also with independent front suspension, they also also have to raise the price and make it more expensive. So, if anyone is thinking of buying this set and wondering how I changed it. The original set comes with these. This set came with these two holes with blue pins. Help a lot whoever a lot of people on this set are like, oh why doesn't the hood open? I don't know how to make it open. Well if you grab I can't see okay. This is one of the flopping pieces, how it's like plus sign here and on other on this side, there's actually a circle that goes that way. So the plus sign is up and down, while the circle is left and right. If you get a few pieces, you can also let me pop that off. Yeah, and then there's 
a couple of these. This one is like pinched, so I don't actually stay put. But if I were to do a lot of things I don't feel like doing right now, you would see why I use it. There's a lot of pieces on this set, which I'm which some people think they're extra. But they're not, because <laughs> first of all the wing hood didn't open before I made it open. Here I'm like I couldn't bend this down and do like that. That's what a wreck would look like. Except like all this would also be gone. Yeah, there are a few things which I'm like Lego, Lego, Lego. With just a few piece changes you could have made the hood open. Also yo the piece I use to keep it open is, is a yellow and red yellow one by eight. Let me take that out. The two pieces I used sorry if you I know you can't see that. Is the yellow one by eight with studs and a flat topped red one by eight. You stack them on top of each other. And those two gray pieces, which you can't see very well, this goes on top of them. But you have to make sure that the end of that of the one by eights are halfway through the closest stud to the headlights. There's also this turbo. Why couldn't Lego make it better? Well, in order for Lego to make it better, they'd have to do a lot of things that they don't feel like doing. And also, that exhaust is awesome, but it's also connected very strangely. That blue piece, for the ones who own it, know what it is. It's basically amazing. Like, honestly, the connection is fine. That's what keeps the roof on. But it's also, in the front, the roof is just connected by these pins. These things that they say is six. Maybe that's nine. Nine. Okay. It's no six. Six or nine. People have like, oh, tell me what tell me what that number is. Come on. Focus. Is that nine or a six? I honestly cannot tell because they're they the exact same except how they're written written. Now, if you guys can excuse me, it is 10.08 p.m. And it's, I should probably be going to bed. But honestly, with the opening hood, you can do a lot of things. You can also bend it. It's been an accident. But honestly, that... Looks more realistic of an accident for the hood anyway. Then oh crap. Please pardon. I don't use a lot of language. Okay, crap. Where did that piece go? Ah, oh, there it is. And it just fell on the floor. Uh where did it go? Ah, oh, there it is. Blush. Okay. Time to do surgery. There we go. Yeah, that looks hot. Huh? Wait, there's nothing weird. How oh, very, very strange. And push it back on. There we go. Yeah, that honestly looks better. Then opening hood and cylindrical doors, which I said. The cylindrical doors are the only thing that's supposed to open with the set. By the side, why should the hood not open either? Because. With just a few pieces, Lego could have made it open. There's also, it says McLaren right here. What I find out about the back though, this is Senna. Oops, I have the stick on backwards. But underneath, it says GTR. So you go behind it, you can't exactly see. And without. Literally picking this up a little bit. You see a giant GTR on the back. Yeah, so so also this thing has a great train right? It's just like Racing Brick said. If you don't want a racing brick, 
for people who love Legos and don't know what, how to review them, just look on Racing Brick's channel, literally called Racing Brick, one word. He might appreciate it. But there's sure a lot of surprises in this set, and I came a few, across a few weird things when I was building it. I honestly think the 1x3 pieces, uh, 1x3 axles, but the one side has a flat, like a stop. I don't think that's really cool. The rear mirrors could have been, like, permanently onto this black piece, and this black piece. Yeah, that, those could have been permanently connected without having to do the floppiness. Well, that's all I have to say about this set. If you guys have motorized this set, then leave it in the comments that, and probably, yeah, leave me in the comments how you motorize this, because I have no idea how to motorize this, and that steering thing on the, the roof steering knob is annoying. Like, honestly, who wants to just go? there to turn the wheels I don't have a sponsor yet or a good or, to truthfully I don't have an editor either but yeah and no I cannot accept for I cannot accept well I have a friend who knows how to edit some I'm getting totally off hand Well, that's my review of this 42123 McLaren Senna GTR set with cylindrical doors. As I said before, if anybody has motorized this set, please leave in the comments how you did and what motors you used. Well, have a good day or good night or good evening or good afternoon, depending on what time you're watching this. And I will see you again in another video labeled Weird Thing 25. Thank you for watching.